welcome, welcome, welcome to Uncensored Friday, live with the ordained crown prince of Ghana. Chad. Last minute, running, running, baby. All I do is be reliable, but I cannot do, and go to myself like I do feel. No, I won't. I say, who you did to one good for fear to kill you. I know if I did it, if I did it, oh, run the crazy bank is dropping, run the Side of my life, the love you back to you. Stabbing your back, you want to see you in pain. If you never know, don't worry now, you know. Feeling the vibe of the love you back, you Stabbing your back, you want to see you in pain. I am Loki. I'm Loki. I got you going, you know, they know me. Show me where, make you know, they join me. Loki. Make you know, they get your eye if you know me. If I fall away, you don't laugh me. I got you going, you know, they know me. Show me. Rock it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Uncensored Friday Live with our Dean Crown Prince of Ghana who loves so he, he loves music so much. This is running by Last Made, you know. Last Made came out with that track I love. I like it a lot, you know. Phone don't stop ringing that track, you know. And he has come out with another banger. I like this one a lot. And I've been playing it a lot during this new year. So welcome to Uncensored Friday. Today we'll be talking about Manchester United, you know. We've been winning, you know. And the post-Cristiano Ronaldo saga, whatever that was supposed to come afterwards, have been dealt properly with by Eric Ten Hag. You know, whatever was supposed, the news that was supposed to be generated, blah, blah, blah was quenched by Eric Ten Hag and he has kept his feet down and they've performed brilliantly after the restart. So, four games, four wins, right? And today we are playing Everton at Old Trafford. Hopefully, um, we can get another win and progress because we are building momentum. When you think about, about the fact that um, Lisandro Martinez had to sit out a game, you know, most people thought he will come right back into the team. But we've seen what Eric Ten Hag wants from this Manchester United players. And he's putting standards in. That is what I like about Eric Ten Hag. And it's nothing but um, optimism for the future. Because when you look at Manchester United, it's like everything else is going on in the right direction. You know, hopefully the club is sold to ambitious owners. Because Manchester United can fill up a 150,000 capacity stadium. That is if they allow the world to access England like they would. Because so many people across the world would love to be at Manchester United or watch a game at Old Trafford. But then the, it is difficult, you know. It is not straightforward like that. And this is why, as the ordained Crown Prince of Ghana, one of the things I want to champion is a common world which is borderless. You know, if if... If it is commonwealth, why shouldn't there be free movement across nations? A borderless commonwealth is something that I will champion. And hopefully, if I get the privilege of meeting the King of England one day, um, I will tell him my concerns, the things affecting my country, the systems I have changed in order to benefit my own people. So as the ordained crown prince, I have a lot to do, but then Friday is a day that I want to share with the people of Reunited Live. And come on, guys, how did you start your new year? How did you start it? Like, how did you start yours? 
because mine has been bad, you know. Um, 31st, I spent it with ordinary people, like you people may think, you know. I went on the streets, saw two people, and had a great time with them on the 31st. And I told them to remember the day, not knowing my dad was in coma, and I never knew about it, you know. Apparently, my dad had fallen around 28th December, and has hit his head on the ground and won and was in he was in, in coma but nobody could reach me and i was like come on so i entered 2023 in a bit of a down mood blah 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 but what can i complain i am the ordained crown prince of ghana you know so if you are that you shouldn't complain about anything that life would throw about that life would throw to you now, as I'm speaking to you right now, my mom and my dad right now are in bed. And, and people may think it is all well with everybody. No, it isn't, you know. And this is why we need to cherish family. Now, today, let, me, let us talk about family first, and then we'll talk about Manchester United in the, in the latter stages of the show, you know. Let us talk about family. Now, family is not the most important thing. It is the only thing. Now, when I talk about, or when I use this phrase, family is not the most important thing, it's the only thing. What I mean is a family where a group of individuals bound by blood decide to fight a system, decide to fight or better their lives, or go towards a goal not letting pettiness not letting religion not letting marriage not letting all these things that divide africans divide us now gone are the days now today i will go deep into family because the the african family has become something else nowadays women should start taking charge of our homes now, when women are more than men, but yet I've been telling women wherever I go that you guys don't, don't play the victim. You control the world. So make sure you control it in a different state. Now, whatever the man, however he's looking like, when you see him on, um, putting his head on his wife, you'll be like, this great man, look at him here. Because women control the world and you are more than us. Take charge of our homes. Now, one thing I find mind-boggling, and this has been a generational thing that needs to go out of the Ghanaian family, the African family, and let's say a family as a whole. Now, you meet doctors, lawyers, female doctors, female lawyers, and um, when you, you speak with them and you, you realize they don't know how to cook, but then they want to be mothers and they want to be somebody's wife. And I'm thinking, so when you were studying to save lives, you never thought of saving your family first before you save. Because whatever will happen to your family is on you. What I mean is, if you are a doctor and you don't cook your own family meals, what is if there is something your family is allergic to in the meals you've been buying to them. So somebody who knows science, who can do something better, is rather forfeiting the basic, the basic training of somebody who wants to become a wife. I hope I am, I am making sense or you are understanding what I mean. Lawyers, female lawyers now can't cook and I'm like, what? oh, I want to be a mom i want to be a wife you never thought of learning how to cook now your ordained crown prince nanapoko hits throat i'm a chef there is one reason why I, I always wanted to 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 cook you know and one of the reasons was so that when i get a woman i know women like that so um you know i cook her something and in bed before she wakes up something nice and she will be surprised that I cooked it, you know, and I felt it is romantic. And as the ordained crown prince, it's something I learned for myself. So this is why I learned how to cook. So then when I see a woman who is just 
not just a doctor, but you want to be a wife. You want to be um, a mom. How can you take care of your family? If everything you eat was cooked by somebody, what if there are things the family is allergic to? You know, all these things are the things that, are, that is dividing family. So women, take charge of, or ladies, the youth. Whatever you are learning, please learn how to cook. Because we've seen billionaires who have married um, waitresses. You know, a man wants to be served like a king. You know, and that is it. It is, it is in our DNA. You know, it is in, inward. And sometimes you can't, or in as much as you try to suppress that kingly feeling, you want your woman serving you. You know, that is why billionaires marry um, waitresses all the time. Because she will come and serve in a way that will get the man's attention, you know. And men, like men, we, we are not that difficult to, you people. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. We are not that difficult, you know. Men, we are not that difficult. And sometimes women don't know the power they have over men, you know. All you need to do is respect your man and he will show you loads of love. You know, sometimes don't don't expect to be the only woman though, because sometimes it is okay. Let us continue. Let us continue. I don't want to go. So, what I'm saying is, women should take charge of the house. And one thing I hate seeing, I hate it, and I hate it so, brafonokram, but so much today. When I see wives calling. Their mother in law's witches. Now, Nanapoku Hatchfield, as the ordained crown prince, I don't care to, to be called a mama's boy. Because before I became this, for you to see me, the man you feel will be the father of your children to marry, there were women, great women, that brought me up. So as a a lady entering into a man's family. Don't expect to be the number one woman in that man's life. And it's about time the men, we put a stop to that. No woman should tell um, a husband that his mother is a witch for him to believe. If, if you know, you know, and we've allowed religion to bring us this. So now every old woman is a witch. So far as she is the she is the mother of a husband, she will be tagged a witch somewhere. Always the boys or the, the, the husband's mothers are always witches. But then you forget that there were women in his life growing up. Women that has made him the man he is now. Every woman wants to be protective of his son. Sorry, of her son. And yet, when, when they are protective of their son, they are called witches. Forgetting that you may be in the same position one day. So every, every wife calling her in-law a witch, I pray to God this morning that you give birth to sons, only sons, so that you will know how, how difficult it is to take care of his son. His injuries. The way you need to dress him. To be a man. That another woman. Will come and finish. Um, what you've started. Now you see men calling their own mothers witches. All in the sake of a woman telling him. So these are the things that are dividing us as families. Every wife, remember that one day, if you don't die early, you will also be a mother-in-law. And the cycle will keep continuing if we don't change the perception of all these things. Why is your mother not a witch, but his mother? The same man you love so much. Look at him. Everything you see was carved out of a woman's imagination for a perfect man. 
I hope you heard what I said. Another woman carved an imagination of his of her son and trained him to become who your husband is. So that woman, you should have nothing but respect to her. If you have in abundance and you can help, help. Always remember, remember to respect your mother-in-law and you will have children. You, you will probably, there won't be a need to even pray. Honor thy mother and fathers. So one of the things we'll be implementing is, is um, one of the things we'll be implementing under um, a monarch is things that bring families together. You know, families. Family is the is it is the only thing in this world. We used to be so close knitted as Africans, but then we've allowed religion. We've allowed um, what is the name? Democracy, NDC, MPP. Where you Kremoni, where you Christoni. Even among the Christians, Pentecostals and Presbyterians are not friends. Presbyterians and Catholics are not friends. But then, you will call yourself Christians. So, what is the division? All these things is eating into our lives. And it's making life difficult for the average Ghanaian. Today, I, I sit in front of you as your ordained crown prince. And life is not easy for me. As I said, my mom and my dad are in bed, bedridden with stroke. But what can I say? I have a greater purpose in life. And whatever it is, they are still alive. So then I get to at least talk to them. People might think nobody has problems. Everybody has his or her problems. And the ordained crown prince of Ghana is not even exempt. Exemplar that or what exemplified or something. Brother no crying to me, but I speak so many languages now. I'm not even perfect in one. There are so many um um what is the name? Um animals I know in English, but I don't know them in tree. And I'm like, oh then crown prince. You see what our education has been? Our education. Now if you're watching me around the world, imagine you learning another country's language in school from the ages of, let's say, two years. Another person's language through your education. Then when you finish and you don't get jobs and you want to travel to um, those countries, they, they tell you to pay visas and even decide whether to give you the visa or not. Then after you get to that country, somebody might even see you and throw banana at you because of your skin color. So that is where Ghana and Africa we are. We give the world virtually everything. You use them in developing your countries. And yet you give us systems that will divide us. And then you, you tell us to stick to these systems. The time for an African, for a Ghanaian to be controlled by the system of people who were post-slavery. We are more enlightened in this day and age. We are in 2023 for crying out loud. The person that agreed something in 1960 is nowhere near smarter than we, the youth of this country now. Because somebody who can't... Those people, if I give them a mobile phone right now, they will see it as, as evil. Probably if they see an airplane, they will, they will probably collapse, the people of 1960, because they're wearing things like this. You see? So we can live in a system that binds us to slavery. And as the ordained crown prince, we are bringing the pan-African system, a system that Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah started, a system that is going to literally liberate Africans, because we've given the world virtually everything. Look at Jay-Z. Look at Beyonce. Black people. Look at Tiger Woods. Look at LeBron James. Look at Kylian Mbappe. But you do everything. 
But then when it is time for even appreciation, you get racial slayers. So speaking about celebrities, let me thank Michael Blankson. Michael Blankson. What you've done at Aguna and Saba, Michael, Madasaka, you like to say that a lot. I follow you, so I know. Madasaka, you know, under a crown. Any day, any time, walk into your crown prince's office and do 5,000 similar, but it will be state-funded. I want more beautiful designs. Why you've done a superb building and a beautiful edifice for free so that kids in Ghana around that area can go to school. And I thank you as the ordained crown prince of Ghana one day your reward in Ghana will be, will be, I love comedy. So maybe one day you'll be my neighbor, you know. But I'll put Kevin Hart too there. I'll put funny face there. Me, I want to be surrounded by comedians so that I will laugh every day. Because life is too short to be thinking about things we should have done. And now is the time as Africans and, and Ghanaians. You know, Africa, most um, people that are in the U U.S. right now who are black um, African-Americans, most of them might have passed through Ghana because of Cape Coast. You know, the door of no return is in Ghana. Cape Coast is a tourist attraction. People come there to see where slaves were, were like the last place before you go and, and never be seen again. But then I look at these cities and I'm like, this was a long time ago. As the ordained crown prince of Ghana, we are about to build over the, this Cape Coast. The tourist attraction will be in a dungeon for tourist attraction. But I don't want the next generation of Ghanaian to be stuck in the past in slavery. No, we are about to move our continent. And if you are a youth in Ghana, and if you're a youth in Africa, I want to tell you that the time is not tomorrow. The time starts now. Whether you're a Christian and you believe God will be coming, let God come and meet us developing our continent. Let God come and meet us developing our nation. Maybe if we develop our nation and our continent so beautiful, God may decide not to even destroy the earth. So, God giving you dominion over the earth, how do you understand this? We have preachers of doom. They've never said something good about Ghana. They always prophesy dooms, prophesy doomsday. And those are the prophets Jesus warned us against. But then those are the people doing what they do. You know, this Sunday, I say, when you go to church, look at your elders and your uh, dignesses and your, your pastors. Look at their works, where they work. They might be working in the government sectors. And yet you think, with all these people being Christians or Muslims, why are we in this predicament? As Africans, as Ghanaians. So we need to, to start taking responsibility of our own self, doing what we, but what our scriptures and the Quran tell us, we should follow it. Don't think about somebody. It's about time. We will put religion, tribe, and all the things that divide us into a box and work towards a common goal. That is, in the next 50 years, no child born in Africa should die of malaria. What will you do to solve this? Let us build the biggest hospital in the world across Africa. It's all about building. We might even take one whole country and build it as a hospital to take care of every health need in Africa. These are the visions. These were the visions of people like Muhammad Gaddafi. But then they won't tell you this. And they use the media to propagate lies against the man. The reason why he was, he was um, um, targeted was because he was trying to introduce the, the, the gold dinner 
that would have been the biggest currency in, in the world and probably Africans adapting to this. For instance, Ghana. We, we are called Gold Coast for a reason. We have so much gold. But then 90% of the population might have never seen a gold before. We are the second largest producers of cocoa in the world. And yet, when you look at it, there are children who hasn't, there, there is a child in Ghana who haven't tasted chocolate before. So the fact that we, oh, I don't know how to put the, the words properly, you know, when I heat up like this. Um, the fact that we are the second largest producers of cocoa in the world, what has not given to my people? It has rather given access to foreign foreigners owning the cocoa beans. So under a crown, we are going to build a factory that will span 200 kilometers into um, La Côte d'Ivoire and Ghana because we are the two largest, the first and the second. Build a cocoa processing company that will make sure we sell it as finished goods. So if you want cocoa or if you want chocolate, you buy it from us as finished goods. And that will create employment for our people. So, if I say this, am I wrong to, to ask for something like this? But then, they put systems in place that will allow this to happen. And it's about time the African, and it's about time the Ghanaian, will know what is the most important. Because Marcus Garvey said, a race that doesn't respect itself automatically forfeits the respect of other races. Black people are around the world. Under a crown prince, after 2024, democracy is coming to an end because wherever I go, the youth in Ghana, the youth across Africa want something new. Something we have decided to put together. And we will follow in the footsteps of our forefathers. And I'm glad that I have the keys to the knowledge of Osadifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah his Pan-African system, the things that will be in the system that will make sure that the basic necessity of a Ghanaian, of an African, is not what he or she will eat, not where he or she will place his or her head. Because why are we selling our timbers if we can use them to build log cabin homes? Why should there be a homeless person in Ghana and across Africa when we sell so much timber across the world? Money is nothing but paper and is the biggest form of slavery you might, you might not even realize it. Why would I give you so much timber for papers or a number on a computer screen? Think about it. Money is paper and paper is from trees. So you came to give me a paper with numbers written on it and I gave you my gold. No. This is what we are going to change in our continent. And I want you to share this video. If you are watching, let it get to every African. Let it get to every Manchester United fan. You know, we need to change the fortunes of our nations. And it's, the time is upon us. And I, I know there are so many people across Africa like me. Because I think I'm not alone. Because if I, I am alone, the calls I get and the honor and the people I meet across the world on video calls telling me to keep pushing and the support I get across the world. The people of Reunited Life, you guys are lucky, man. I keep saying this because if you are on Reunited Life, after we are in the crown, this will be my place where every Friday you see me. You know, and I don't want to create memberships. I don't want to create classes on reunited life. No, everybody. I want to interact with the youth of Africa. I want to interact with the youth of my beautiful country, Ghana. It's about time. Much love to Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson, thank you very much for what you've done, man. Uh, thank you very, 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 very much. Much greetings to my king, Otunfuo. Or say to Tua Baby, you, Daddy, good morning. And if you had that first Friday of um, 2023, Nanapoko Hatefield, or then Crown Prince, Daddy Michiao, Mia Santini, 
asante fan in crime fa nti me born to one me born to one so mao nti daddy good morning yes sir yeah my ghana all the paramount chiefs in ghana i'm going on a nationwide tour holding meetings with you you dignitaries because you are in charge of our tribes and i want everybody to be called a ghanaian and not the tribes moving towards a goal now under a crown under a monarch we, ghana will bid for the 2050 world cup and that will be our target to make sure that by the time 2050 is here we will show the world what a black man can do when given the right tools, the freedom to help his people. My name is Nanapoku Hitfield, the ordained crown prince of Ghana. I'm leaving you guys with love. I'm leaving you guys with abundance. As I said, take a script out of my book, you know. My parents are bedridden right now, you know. When you guys were celebrating 31st and 1st, in, in happiness, I didn't know my dad was in coma. When I got to know, it shut my, my, my New Year's blah, blah down. But how can I complain? I am the ordained crown prince of Ghana. And it got me, it took me a while to get there. You know, maybe this is the last test I need in my life. How, how would I know? But then I always find solace in Job's, Job's story, you know. And I look at this and I look at this as just another step back in getting me to where I want to go, that is helping my nation, helping my continent into a better age, an age where abundance applies to the African and the Ghanaian. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And I'm promising every mother, every person above the ages of 50 in Ghana, under a crown, we, your children, will build houses for you. So don't worry. What you want to do? What the fifth be a you see diamo? Eh, we want to look forward to our golden age. We don't want old age to be a curse in Africa, in Ghana. Now you don't want to even grow. That is why people do so much for money now because they think when you grow, you won't get money again. So why don't we invest in old age? Why don't we put systems in place that when you are fifty, you get your own apartment, you get um a card where you buy everything for free. So that one day when we also get there, we will know that our children will also work for us. My name is Nanapoko Hitfield, the ordained crown prince of Ghana. Share this video. Let it get to a wider audience. We, it is about time we move Africa into a new age. And, and, and I said Manchester United will be playing Everton today. Hopefully we win. And I want to talk about Luke Shaw's form, man, guys. Have you seen the pass from Luke Shaw to Bruno Fernandes for the Rashford's goal? Charlie, Luke Shaw. I love Luke Shaw for his resilience. You can't take that away from him. When you look at the injury he suffered against PSV in the Europa League, you know, Hector Moreno's tackle. That Charlie breaking his leg into like two parts. Coming back from that injury. And every time he's been thrown with a challenge, he grabs it and, and works harder and proves that he, he deserves to be a Manchester United left back. Because when we brought Alex Telles in, it boosted him to a height. And then Malaysia has given him another dimension. And what the, the guy is playing now, Charlie, shout outs to Luke Shaw. Thank you, thank you, Luke Shaw. And... The Ordain Crown Prince is telling you that your, 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 um, your, what, what is the word to use, Kra? Uh, your performance, you know, keeps improving. And tonight we play, let me know your predictions, guys. I lose part Taraway. Now, let me give this announcement. Now, if you are in, an, an investor, I'm building lock cabin homes in Ghana. As I said, I'm starting building lower cabin homes. I want so many equipments. I want tracks. I want so many things. So if you are an investor and you think you can come and invest in Rebeland Estates, man, contact me on Reunited Life. I'll get a message 
um, nonetheless, if, if you are um, a carpenter, those um, people that make tables with resin, you know, we want to make the most natural houses for our parents, you know, and I'm going to start, I don't want to tell you guys, but I want one day reunited life, we will go and before you realize there's about 10,000 homes I'm giving to the people in my village, you know, for free. Where will I sleep as the crown prince of Ghana? Just under, a, you know, what do you need in this life? How many clothes do I need? In life, like, what the fuck? The most important thing is not what you will wear. It is the legacy you will leave on earth. How you will be able to help a situation become better. So if you're a Christian, you're a Muslim, that is what you are taxed to do. Stop thinking about who is worshipping God better and concentrate on your life. My name is Nanapogo Hitfield, the ordained crown prince of Ghana. See you same time next week. Take inspiration in my story. Whatever you are going through now, whatever you want to be, you are surely going to be that. Best believe that. Best, 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 best believe that. So let me end with one more song. You know me, I love Ghanaian music. I love Black Sheriff. And I played Running, a new song by Last Mid. Eh? Last Mid, shout out, eh? I'll, Last Mid, you don't worry, eh? I'm, see, I'm looking at what you are doing in Ghana. After 2024, when Ghana is under a monarchy and we are putting systems in place, you are not because I hire What I'll do with your talent. I love music, okay? So let me end with the music and let's so let me play Black Sheriff's Toxic Love City. You know, I love this song because whatever Ghana is. This is my country. This is the country I've been ordained to move the country forward into a new age. So I learned virtually everything. I'm an architect, structural engineer. I'm virtually everything. Whatever you put in front of me, I may probably have an idea. I learned criminal justice. So that when I become... I, I never knew I would become the ordained crown prince of Ghana, to be honest. But then I wanted to be... To learn so much that I will be in a situation where if one day I get a chance to do something for my country, I'll do it better. So I learned so many languages, traveled the world. I speak like seven languages, you know. I speak Spanish, I speak Deutsch, I speak a little bit of French and Portuguese. You know, I speak guy, I speak she, a little bit of Aigbe, a little bit of Hausa. Uh, how's that in a gym by young fatty in a gym by young fatty hmm? <laughs> i lived at zongo junction when i was growing up so i was always trying to listen to what they were saying you know but unfortunately i couldn't i couldn't get all but when you say so many things i understand you know i understand how's that and one day i'll be honored to visit a mosque maybe in saudi arabia because i want to visit saudi arabia one day and um you know um the crown prince there you know what he's doing with, it, with his country um i'm going to be a friend gain knowledge more you know he has started something i can gain inspiration here and there you know and come and develop my country because 2050, we want Ghana to host the World Cup. Because if Qatar hosts the World Cup, I look at my country and we have so much talent. We have so much wealth. So this is the starting point. 2050, Operation 2050 for every Ghanaian. We are about to build our nation. Democracy, IAEA, NDC, MPP, Atiti, and Tem. Anything I hear to me, thank Ghana, Sika. Ediko Sidai, Nankura, Edem. Ohenin Ediswa. We are sure the same way. Ebet Messi was Dubai. Ebet Messi was Norway, Spain. It to be see that. And this year, MPP in the way bar. On person about why Duma way I so. And I have bread. You have bread. Ghana for me. I've been a party agent for both. I've been part of the PPP too. In the meme, catch all the same. I say, um, yes, your friend is saying.
upon the name free so we have a catcher who said then che who said then yeah you did it you know men are not going to have been everywhere now bb i'm seeing i am not saying i'm going to put them in him i miss him in the way sometimes me dream i may say ah boy fucking way soon i have a year no ordain crown prince my car my car this is me now so i never knew but it's about time say africa ghana you best start in the Ghana. To send your sergeant for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Koji if I would be a a B A O B A, you know. Sana ya ba be shasi ye. Na Ghana no. Nkrofo nsuro ye. Ye di opuwa ma ye huwa na mwa fo be bu ye yon. Ma ame papa. Wo mbuwa ibe ni ni ti na bro ni mbu no. Wo mbuwa ibe ni ti o ye gani ni wo de maximum respect. Wo e bu nkre ni se nkre ni. Wo e bu asanti ni. Wo e bu frafre ni. Se a. Or your gun and knee, not from any the end and channel. Nanka yenin, Nanka baby a year druno, and yen and any say any say. Ah, yen crude oil, yen yen yan. Bruni were ninety per cent plus shares woman. We as some way, who could can send you could see saying. We or hen in a this war, and can you bet to me? We will crown a king. Ah, or be protecting gun and resources. Your natural resources, no, no. resources, no. Yen tomb you, man, you by force. Yeah, yeah, ton cry, yeah, to am I, yeah, gold, you know. Umami, a wound, no, na, oja, u gold. Bass, bass, a two million. Bass, makuma, ku two million, ka, and fatayen. And then I yet, yet, ton you gold. And this is a paper. San Yamani, you know, you be jai. Economy. And this is in Yamani, we will stop learning it in our schools. In Yamabi, what you be jai say, yet, chile, yem, ma. Because a no more na obetchi na profit and loss. Then a be ya a boy wa Ghana ya wo dia. Cement a wa Ghana ya wo dia. Now so we rose I say now because I say we need to carry on to me in a year no. Now I say we timber. Now I say we gold. Inti bibi ni wa wunda ni hun hun say adi ayi ayi nkuasumi ya na ya na mui. Ma meni papa embrane edru. Now so ma musuro because ordain crown prince of Ghana. Ma bro. Fifteen years. Now they be a uh, according to Obaku. They be a na jubi according to Obaku na seven so meti me jina baby. Abu a me mama no mo. Abu a me papa no mo. Me se me mama mo ene mo papa mo amu be above the ages of fifty. Mo da mo da. Because he mo ya papa no mo ene mo. Into mo di mo kwa mo di mo. We will build log cabin homes across Ghana. For everybody, everybody above the ages of fifty, in Kreni Benyebi, Eteni Benyebi, we ni ni ye ni Eteni na ye ni we ya wagani ni. Na yofa si kaga kofi si baby ya wose si ye na Ghana. Yesu Kristo waha, Prophet Muhammad waha, si kaga kofi waha na ye ni na ye nchi chile Ghana embom because yam pesa yam ma ebe todi ye ye Tony mo. Won't send ya ye blame your forefathers no. Ya nye gana who be be said the youth of this country ya. Omonso ombe wa be boye di mbone. Inti ya ya ye living monument in sisi ho. Big sis monument. Um biggest hospital in the world. Pyramid hospital. Sana misino. Design so mian kasa ma sisi de da. I'm an architect. Inti ma sisi. Na diya mube hu, me se, me mpe se, obi, ebe wu because se, na, yanfane ndu hospital in tem, debi. Yebe si si, na yansu ye si si helipad ni bi. A pastor engineer kodyo safo. Ya fa engineers de kane huwa. Yan kasa yebe tu miye si ye helicopters. Ah, yansu no. Me mpe se me kasa be brie. Let me leave you guys. Na me mko ye, in yama ebe bo wa gana. I'm still putting things in place. So, if you are, a carpenter, I want more plumbers, I want more structural engineers to contact me. You know, we are about to build in Sultan on maybe a Sisanina, maybe a Sabian to some Maldives. So I'm bringing engineers from Maldives. So if you are an engineer, contact the ordained crown prince of Ghana. I don't want to talk too much. If you want to be, be part of something that will last a generation. Contact the ordained crown prince of Ghana and Apogee Field on Reunited Life. And let's talk business. 
business and friendship. Above all friendship. Because me, I love, I love people, you know. So I won't cheat you. Don't come and cheat me either, you know. So if you are, if it is in your mind that you are coming to cheat the ordained crown prince, no, I won't. No, 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 I won't do that. My people deserve better, you know. I will never stand. And I will swear on the, on the rivers in Ghana. All the rivers in Ghana. Because they, they, they all, all of them had a hand in ordaining the crown prince of Ghana. So, we have so many things for Africa. And guys, what I, I want to do for the people of Reunited Life, you'll be marveled. Just keep on, share our videos, and let us get to a wider audience. And we'll do so many things. 24th April, we want to hold a party. Reunited Life Anniversary. You can meet the ordained Crown Prince of Ghana. Come on. Let's make it happen. Okay? We will, we will ballot and see the, the country in Africa that we will do it. Maybe it will be Kenya. Then I'll spend time with Kenyans, you know, who are Manchester United fans and Africans, you know. So I'll be leaving you guys. Much love. I'm tired, man. I'm going to draw. I'm going to do some painting. When I'm done, do some sketches, as I said. Sketching so many lock homes. Um, I'm about to... Uh, yes, I need to go and see um, Apostle Engineer Kojosafo. I've never met the man, but I talk about him a lot and I hold him in high esteem. So I, I will need to go and visit him and see what I can do about it. If anybody has a way of letting me get to the great man, please contact me and let me know. You know, much love. I'm leaving you guys with it. Chichicha means love and abundance. 2023 is our year of power and abundance. Chi, chi, cha. Bye.